we're uh, we're watching the world end right now on a virus that's gonna kill everybody. Bear gang till I die. Oh, swooped up the homies and we about to start a side show. Why is China Tech involved in this? All right, so you have to understand from an investment standpoint. China, lots of people, very close quarters, number one. Number two, virus. People get sick, people are out of work, people aren't going to work. Number three, everyone's scared. Everyone over there is scared of everything anyways. When it comes to like these things, a lot the, the population gets very scared because they're very, very close together. So now you've got less people going to work, less people doing jobs, less people making stuff, less people manufacturing, less people using financial sectors, less investing going on. That's what it can happen. So it all depends on panic. So a lot of people will um will 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 stop investing or pull out their profits because they're afraid of a slowdown in growth or spending. I'm not saying an economic crash is going to happen, but if this thing, even if this thing doesn't wipe out a population or infect an entire population, just the idea that it will cause people to not go to work, go on the train, go travel, go on the planes, slows down everything. And when things slow down, money stops being made. And when money stops being made, people pull their investments because they don't see growth. When people pull their investments, a stock starts to slide. When stocks slide... 401ks go out. When people 401ks go out, people that are retired have less money to spend. Those people spend so much money. They don't go out. Now, guess what? Restaurants and retailers aren't making money because nobody's spending money. Now they're laying off people. Now more people are unemployed. It's a vicious fucking cycle.